My name is O.V. Brantley. The Atlanta Quilt Festival is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we exist to do one thing, to provide a beautiful quilting experience each August for that showcases African-American quilts. I am the CEO, fancy title, for a Jack of All Trades. Um, and our past events have all been at South Fulton Art Center, which is where we got our start. And this will be our 13th year, I'm very happy to say. Our very first quilt show was at the South Fulton Art Center. And um, we enjoyed it, they enjoyed it. And since that time, every August, we have assembled quilters from around the country at the South Fulton Art Center. And because of renovations this year, and because Juneteenth is now a holiday in my city of South Fulton, we are partnering to present a beautiful Juneteenth quilt exhibit. My name is Brenda Shelby. I have been quilting a long time, but very seriously for over 22 years. My piece uh, was to represent something about Underground Railroad. And I decided since I had done a number of Underground Railroad quilts before, I would do something a little different and um, do something with Harriet Tubman. So I looked up on the internet, I saw a picture of Harriet Tubman with a long skirt on, and I decided I could make an Underground Railroad quilt in the uh, skirt by using the various squares that represent the Underground Railroad. And then I found a quote of hers that I liked very much. And it was, um, I could have freed a thousand sl slaves if only they had known they were slaves. And m the name of the quilt is Harriet Moses Tubman Underground Railroad. I belong to a group of very talented um, quilters that meet uh, once a year. And they, each, they get a challenge uh, each year to do some kind of a quilt. And this past year was to do an Underground Railroad quilt. And so that's what inspired me to do this quilt. My first name and last name, Patricia Bettine, but everybody calls me Pat. I've been a quilter for about 12 or 13 years. I started after I retired. This piece is the Underground Railroad, and the reason I like it is because each block is a different symbol, and some people call it a code quilt. So the symbols were shown to slaves as directions, as sometimes which way to go, like the flying geese. They would know to go north. If they were coming from the south to escape slavery, they would go north. And the, can I turn? So this is the North Star, so they would go north, they would follow the, star, they'd follow the stars at night to know to go north. And this is a wrench, and that told them they needed to get their equipment together to escape. So each block tells a different story. I took a quilting class from Jean Freeman at Southwest Art Center. And that's where it all began. I knew how to sew, but I didn't know how to quilt, and I didn't see what was exciting about it. And at the time, I was doing a lot of different crafts, but I fell in love with quilting because quilting can be traditional. It can be um, so creative. You can do anything with it. It's not just one block. This was uh, a quilt as you go, so that was a little different. So, Southwest Art Center. My name is Jan Hollins. 
Well over 20 years um, was eventually started with um, traditional quilts and then I went into the fiber art quilts. This particular piece is uh, one of drama. I call it color drama because you're able to take uh, so many different pieces of fabrics and metallics and you, I use nettings and batiks and I just cut them all into small pieces to create a real feeling of drama and movement. And I love color and the color should be shown in this particular quilt. Well, we as African-American women are always um, into our clothing, our looks. Um, we're always into being uh, joyful and happy and, and just moving on in life. And even though we had a lot of sad times in history, there did come a time that we were like excited to be and put on beautiful clothes and went out and went to church. So this is inspired by women of creation, women who come out and made a difference and ready to move on from some of the sadness and the things that we've had to endure in history. Aisha Lumumba. I've been quilting uh, full time for about 25 years. I've been a quilter about 40 years. Um, this piece is called Aunt Clyde's House. My aunt, um, was about 96 when I started to go visit her every week. And she took me, she would tell me stories about Aunt Clyde, who was um, her aunt. And every morning they would take the horse and buggy, she and her brother, and go to Aunt Clyde's house to get eggs so that they could make breakfast for the family. And so she, when she took me there, the house of course was gone, it was just, a overgrown shack by then. But I had this vision of what it looked like and I wanted to reproduce um, from her vision. So this is my interpretation of Aunt Clyde's house. Well, I was inspired by her stories, of course, but um, I, I want to see myself and our people in our art and I didn't grow up seeing pictures of things like a clouded house that represented us. And, and I, so I want the next generation to be able to see themselves. So Journer Quilt Group is a, a group of women who started quilting together at the Southwest Arts Center shortly after its opening and stayed together uh, taking classes every Thursday, year after year. And um, after about the second year, we decided to form a quilt guild. Um, and since that time, we've been having quilt shows at the Southwest Arts Center, typically the last week in April. And the Southwest Arts Center has supported uh, our quilt shows. They've been, um, they've hung them and advertised them and just really been a bi very big support and an encouragement. Well, we are primarily uh, a group of African-American women, although we uh, have become more diverse uh, over the years, but we are um, quilters who are in touch with what's going on in the world. And so this opportunity to make a statement about how we feel about ourselves and about what's happening with black people now and in the past uh, is a wonderful opportunity for the creativity of quilters. I have, um, I think, the internet has helped uh, because it has kind of marshaled and connected groups of quilters across the country um, and across the city. We have several groups of quilters across the Atlanta area. And um, I think that younger people have gotten involved as they have seen that 
it's not just traditional quilting, their grandmother's quilting. A lot of it is creative and artsy and gives an outlet to anyone who wants to be creative. Jackie Jackson Harvey. Actually, I'm the PR director for the Atlanta Quilt Festival since the last couple of years. Well, for me, I think of Carolyn Mazzumi. She's out of Cincinnati. We've had her here as a master quilter. We bring in both national as well as we bring in local master quilters too. During the month that we have our show, the Atlanta Quilt Festival, we offer a range of classes for beginners, intermediate, as well as lots of people come primarily to take the master quilt classes, but the beginner classes are important too because it gives uh, people who really have an interest in quilting an opportunity to start with a small project perhaps, and usually they get the bug. The next thing you know, they're taking some of the intermediate classes and moving on up. 